Or the JB Bridge, all the work that's been going on there, it's really kind of caused a laundry list of problems. It has. And then you add in this motorcycle accident that happened on the approach to the Poplar this morning. Oh my goodness, mm. it is just a mess out there and it really continues to be. And someone who knows all too well about it is Mark Griffin because we've had him drive that <laughs> whole stretch like three times today. So Mark, once again, it looks like you're 64 westbound, very slow. What's the latest? Yeah, Laura, we've been on top of this for about the last hour and 45 minutes, and I can tell you from those multiple drives that it appears what happened was a motorcyclist was involved in an accident on the upper level in the two left lanes on the approach to the poplar. He or she was ejected and then landed below. Unfortunately, it was a fatality. Illinois State Police have yet to confirm all of this, but that's what I have seen through my drive throughs The result of that is that the westbound, I'm sorry, yes, the westbound lanes of the approach to the Poplar Street Bridge, those two left lanes, have been shut down most of the morning. You have just reported they have reopened. That's great news, but Laura, the backup now up to 255, that's about a seven and a half mile backup. It is, and traffic is at a standstill for most of it, as you see from there. Thank you very much, Mark. So because of that big backup on 64 westbound, I am not suggesting those of you in Monroe County take 255 and then exit on to 64 westbound. If you like 255, continue on it, exit at 5570 and take the San Museo Veterans Memorial Bridge or have a lot of patience and take Route 3. I hate suggesting that, but really that is the best alternate this morning. Highway 15 to the Eads could be an option too.